Coming in under 7,000 pounds dry with just a little over 1,200 pound hitch weight, this half ton towable fifth wheel can sleep up to five. Folks, this is the 2022 Crossroads Volante 240RL. The 240RL is actually the smallest of the fifth wheels in the Volante lineup. It comes in a little under 28 feet, I believe. Um, but again, when we talk about half-ton towable fifth wheels, there's two important things you have to look for when talking about weights. One, of course, is the, the weight itself, right? And that will be your tow capacity. But the other thing we have to look at, especially in half-ton fifth wheels, is the payload capacity of the truck versus the hitch weight of the RV. So, you know, having that, uh, that hitch weight of a little over 1,200 pounds uh, when this RV is dry is pretty good, and a lot of half tons are able to handle that fairly well. So, when we talk about half ton towable RVs, I would definitely slot this one in as a very, very viable option. Um, and they, they didn't necessarily, you know, cut a lot of things out, right? Like, I really like this layout for being a small RV, I think they did a good job in the layout of this rear living space. We'll start kind of with the kitchen and work our way around. Um, if you see the, the Dometic fridge freezer combo, you know, they decided to go with a, a gas electric fridge, right? A gas absorption fridge. The reason being that if you're kind of out and about with this one, you can still run your refrigerator off propane. So if your batteries start to get low or you decide that, you know, you don't want solar, uh, you're not going to be beholden to that. You can still use propane and be able to keep things in there nice and cool. So it's always nice, I guess, having a, a kind of feel, uh, a few different fuel options to keep things cold. And then as we kind of step back a little bit, we get further into the kitchen and you will see the absolute gorgeous solid surface countertop. So we're talking about a lighter weight fifth wheel, right? Trying to be half ton towable. This was a pretty bold move um, because this does add weight. You know, solid surface is definitely going to weigh more than T-mold, more than like your thermoformed but it definitely will be the most resilient and also the most attractive. So I am glad they were able to put that in there and still hit the weights that they needed to hit. Now, along with that, you will see that the double stainless steel bowl is undermounted, of course, when you have solid surface, why would you not? Uh, also high rise pull out faucet. You have the, uh, you know, the three burner recessed cooktop with the glass top. That is a gray stone brand, very common in the RV industry these days. Obviously it gives you that prep space up top. Uh, the backsplash is kind of framed out there. I, I kind of wish I, it would have been a little bit longer. I know a lot of RV manufacturers kind of run it across the whole, uh, you know, the whole back of the countertop. And for me, I personally like that a little bit more. But, you know, let me know what you guys think. Do you, do you like it like this where it's just kind of right behind the oven? Would you prefer something going the whole length? Would you prefer, you know, having a side splash, a, a combination of them? I guess let me know in the comments section what you like. That way I can pass it on to the manufacturer so we're making sure that, uh, you know, they're putting the best products out there. If we take a look up top, you will see the hood as well as a microwave. Uh, I like the crown molding that they added in here. I think that adds a, a nice little touch. And then of course you have the cabinets with the glass insert there to help break up the, the kind of the brown wood look a little bit. Then as we drop down, you will see the accent lights. Now bear in mind, folks, if you don't like those, you absolutely can turn them off. Just like, whoop, wrong one. Let's try that again. This one. Um, so the accent lights are underneath the kitchen counter and they also are above the slide. Uh, it's the same switch, but if you don't like the blue light look, you can turn them on. If you do like it, you can turn those on, turn them on on your oven knobs and have blue lights everywhere. Uh, underneath the sink itself, you see plenty of storage there, so great for pots and pans. You have uh, three full extension ball bearing drawers, this bottom one being a little bit deeper as well. So you do have plenty of space for like flatware, um, you know, kitchen towels, hot pads, things like that. Plus you get this space right over here. Now, if you want, you can certainly use this for shoes. I personally would probably use it for a trash can uh, just because I hate having you know my trash bag hang out, but it does give you kind of that multi-purpose use depending on what your needs are. Now we take a look in the very back, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the things I really like about this floor plan is instead of having two 
uh, like swivel rockers or recliners like is so very common in a lot of this rear living floor plan setup. They went with a tri-fold sofa and I personally think that is an awesome choice for a couple different reasons. One, it's super comfortable. Uh, you know, you have the, the uh, built-in armrests here but also this folds out into a bed where two adults can comfortably sleep. Now I know that this RV is mainly built for two people, but sometimes we have guests, right? We have friends that want to stay the night, whether it's, you know, kids, grandkids, uh, just friends from, you know, out of town that come and, you know, want to come see your RV. Uh, this gives them a place to sleep. So I definitely really enjoy having the tri-fold in here. You'll also see windows all the way around, so in a lot of natural light, and they are roller shades, which are super easy to use, uh, easy to operate, and unlike your traditional, you know, kind of pleated shades they are a little bit tougher when you have the tensioner and everything you need to work with. Um, I definitely, definitely prefer having the roller shades. You also have plug-ins. You'll see the 120 volt there, plus USB ports on both sides to charge all your electronics, and then uh, storage all the way across the top. If you take a look uh, over to the other side in the slide out, you have the dinette. Now, with this dinette, <clears throat> this is probably one of the least attractive style of dinettes, but in my opinion, the most effective. If, if I have a style of table, this right here is my preferred because I, I'm more of a, uh, a function over aesthetic guy, right? I want something to work. And this, this style table has been around the RV industry forever, but so many people have gone away from it and go to the, gone to the pedestal style. But with the pedestal, there's a little bit of rock. With this one, I mean, this thing hardly moves, right? You have the leg right here for support, and then it clips into the wall right there so that you know this table doesn't move, so that your plates and everything aren't gonna slide all over the place. Uh, and then when you're done, you wanna fold it into a bed, no problem, the leg folds right up, it just swings right on down, and then you still have that sleeping, uh, sleeping space. Now, it's not gonna fit an adult, but a small child, absolutely, they can make that into a bed. Uh, also with dinettes, what you know I used to do, my wife and I used to do a lot, is that we would, uh, you know, when our, our youngest was really small, we'd have a pack and play. We put the pack and play right on top of there. And, you know, she wasn't crawling uh, out of the pack and play or anything yet. So we could put her in there and have a nice sleeping space that is like up off the main floor. Um, but, you know, plenty of lighting in here too. I'm a big board game person, especially when I camp. I like to play board games. My wife loves puzzles. In order to do that, both of those, you want a lot of light. And you definitely have it there in a smaller space. They give you three LED lights. And then if we take a look, Underneath the, uh, the dinette here, you see you have a couple different ways to access the storage. You have the doors to reach in there, or you can just lift the cushion up and you, know, you have the finger hole there so you can access anything you need to under the dinette, but good storage space on both sides. And then also built into the, that slide out is your TV. And I like that it's on an angle personally, um, you know, just so you can get uh, a few more different viewing angles out of it. It's, um, let's see here, there we go. Well. I have to fight with it a little bit to get it out, but it's, uh, it is on a swing arm mount, right? Was going to be my point. Um, it looks like I might need to move it a little bit to clear that side, but uh, you can swing it out and around so you have a better viewing angle from either the dinette over there or from the rear sofa. Uh, and then underneath is your sound bar. So that way, uh, you know, you can have good sound quality there. Plus it's Bluetooth capable, has a couple different zones, control the speakers outside too. Underneath that, some storage actually pretty deep storage comparatively it's one of the nice things about having that corner unit is you get a lot of storage uh you know right right behind that and then you will also see that the fireplace is built in there and the nice thing about the fireplace is not only does that look really great but that fireplace also is a space heater so that will help kind of knock the chill out of the air in this main living space then right over here you kind of have <coughs> excuse me like a little almost like a built-in hutch area or a little bar area. Um, I personally would probably put, you know, my coffee maker here if it wasn't over there. This is a great spot for it. Or again, if, you know, it's just the two of you and you want like a bar, this is a great spot to have that bar. You can put a margarita machine there if you want. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Storage up top as well as right down below, you can see your fuse panel and breaker box is there too. Then as we step up, they didn't waste any space. Take a look at all this storage. You have a, a smaller RV, under 28 foot, right? Half ton towable, and they give you a ton of storage right here. This one has a hanging rod, so that way, you know, when we go in the bedroom, you'll see that you have wardrobes in there too, but they wanted to give you a ton of extra space. You have drawers all down below. 
I love that they put a bunch of space in here. A lot of manufacturers would have just put like a window in there. And I think that that is way more functional. And then if we take a step into the bathroom, we'll see the foot flush lever toilet. This is a porcelain bowl. Great thing about a porcelain bowl is it's easier to clean. It'll stay looking nicer longer. You'll also see your countertop, uh, good space over here. They didn't even have to do a cutout. And again, I'm, you know, I'm six foot, a little over 200 pounds. And you know, it's a little tight on the shoulders, not bad, you know, decent space on the legs too. I definitely don't have any complaints about this bathroom. They still are able to give you a big countertop plus the cutout underneath and storage underneath the sink. Medicine cabinet up top there. You can see you have the, uh, the um, ceiling um, vent as well. And then you have a skylight above the tub shower. Uh, this is my, you know, because it is uh, just kind of meant for two people, I'm not sure that the tub is not necessary. But what I do like about it, I will say is this, because you know, obviously you're not gonna be taking a bath in here, but the fact that you can see it has a higher wall and so there's a better chance that your shower curtain is going to stay there and not flip out all over and get your bathroom floor all wet. So that I do appreciate. And again, being six foot, I have more than enough space in here. I could shoot, I could probably be six, three, six, four and be absolutely fine. And again, you'll see the electrical outlet has that little symbol on there because as I said, if you do get that, um, you know, an inverter on here, right? That one is already pre-wired uh, on an inverted loop, which is pretty cool. Then as we make our way into the bedroom, you'll see your queen bed right here. Uh, if I take a step up, you will see that there is, there is a step right there at the base of the bed. I do have to duck down. So for me personally, getting in and out of bed, I would most likely do at the foot of the bed. Just know that if you get on the side, you may have to duck. Wardrobe on both sides, you have cubby holes there. And with the cubby holes, uh, they also have the electrical outlet and the USB ports in there on both sides. Uh, again, wardrobe space. You have the storage across the top. And then the last two things I wanna hit on one, TV hookup if you want TV in the bedroom. It does use the Key TV system because this is uh, a Crossroads product. It's a sister product of Keystone. They get to use a lot of their technologies like the Key TV, which is fantastic. Also the Blade AC system is another one, which, you know, nice and quiet. Again, you're getting that 360 cooling. But another cool thing about this particular layout is right up top, you also have the second AC there in the bedroom. So even on a hot day like today or a hot night, you will stay nice and cool with that AC. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2022 Crossroads Volante 240RL. Starting off right up front, you can take a look at that beautiful front cap. That, of course, is a painted front cap. Looks wonderful. You have LED lights all along the bottom here. And underneath that is the Kurt Rotaflex Kingpin. This is fantastic because this actually, as the name implies, pivots, right, or rotates. And so what that will do for you is when you're starting and stopping your tow vehicle, um, you, you don't get what they call the, the bucking or chucking, right? And what that essentially is, is when you stop, normally all this weight flies forward. So by having this pivot, it helps take a little bit of that out when starting and stopping, just to give you a smoother overall tow experience. When you drop down underneath, if you take a look at the front storage compartment, couple things I like about this. Um, one, it's a fairly large compartment, right? For not being like a, a drop frame or anything like that, you know, granted there is some plumbing running through, but rather than box it off and make it really small, they just opened it up and said, hey, you can work with it any way you want. Anything you can fit in there, go for it. But another couple of great things is you have your uh, 12 volt distribution box right there with the battery disconnect built in. You can see it is pre-wired for solar. So if you want solar panels on the roof, that is where your solar controller will go. Or if you just want portable panels, that's an option too. You can see right there, it has the option for portable panels there, which of course will have the controller built in uh, to, that, to those panels themselves. But plenty of different ways to access the storage. We saw the front there. You can also access from the side right here. You can see there's another access door on the other side, so that way you can really access anything you put in there. If you want TV outside, right here is uh, the TV connection, so you can have that. Of course, LED light, nice big door, so again, you can access that uh, entire space underneath in that garage. We take a look up top, you'll see the power awning. That is the uh, carefree compass power awning. It has your 
LED light strip on there as well. And nice thing about that, the way it is sewn in, it's sewn in kind of like right at the base there. And so it doesn't matter what position the awning is in, you can use those LED lights. Right underneath that are two speakers. And now those are connected to that, actually that sound bar that we saw inside, because that's your multimedia center. So one of the zones will be the outside speakers here because that is Bluetooth capable. You can play you know, Spotify or whatever from right out here uh, via Bluetooth. You will see your fresh tank fill located on the camp side. So if you, um, you know, are going somewhere you don't have city water, you wanna make sure to fill the fresh water tank, that will be the place to do it. You'll see this right here, the fresh water quick drain. You have a pretty large uh, fresh water tank on here. You wanna be able to drain it out nice and quickly. Again, that gives you the capability to do it. It's gonna be, I believe, a one inch opening on there. Nice big valve. You can pull that sucker, it dumps out. Along with that, we can drop down real quick. I'll, I'll kind of show you. Um, so it's actually behind the tire. It's kind of tough to see, but it is a large valve. But what you will also see is the fact that this has a fully enclosed insulated and actually heated underbelly. So not only will that help keep out road grime and hopefully some of the uh, rodents in the off season when you're not using it, but also because it has that forced air ducting going into it, if you're camping in the colder season, it'll help prevent your water lines and tanks from freezing up on you. Your entrance will be right here in the back, kind of right in front of that sofa. And your stops, I'll open this up so you can take a look. Make sure I don't hit air in there. Um, you can see these are going to be your steps. These are the LCI solid steps. They work pretty easily. You just flip this lever like so, that will allow it to drop down. You can see there's a pin to adjust both legs, so that way, no matter what your campsite is, uh, you can adjust that to the proper height. You will also see the aluminum treads on there so it doesn't rust. Uh, one quick tidbit, I suppose. When you are adjusting your feet, one of the things you wanna watch for is right here. You wanna make sure this plate sits pretty flush uh, with this right here. You don't want it to be up like this because what'll, <coughs> excuse me, what'll happen is when you go to shut the door, right down here, either this part or possibly down here will hit and then you're going to bend the bottom of your door and then you're going to be really upset at yourself because you're gonna remember that I told you this and you forgot. So uh, write that one down, but for uh, other than that, they are fantastic steps like the name implies. They are super solid, very easy to walk up and down. You don't get that springboard effect. And also you get the larger foldable grab handle so you have more control. If you have dogs that travel with you, awesome. We love them. They, right here is a spot to tie them up. And that of course will be underneath the awnings. So that way they're tied up in shade, not in direct sun. Uh, your power stabilizer jacks will be right back there is the control. And if we look on the very back, you'll see a couple different things. One is the square tubular bumpers, so you have a convenient spot to store the end, or store your sewer hose. Also attached to that bumper is a spare tire. But the thing I really want to point out is right down here, and that is your 3,000 pound hitch. Why that is awesome is because if you are in a state that allows you to have what is called the train, which essentially means that you have your tow vehicle, a fifth wheel, then you're gonna tow something behind you, this allows you to do that. Uh, with that 3,000 pounds, you know, you can tow a boat, you can tow another trailer behind you. Um, so having that, again, as long as your state allows it is awesome. If that is something you are interested in, make sure you either stop by a Camping World uh, in your local area to see what the laws are or, you know, look it up yourself because a lot of them will have certain length restrictions and things like that. But it is really cool, it provides that. And honestly, even if you don't plan on towing a boat behind you, Having a two inch receiver on there just straight out of the gate is great because a lot of your components that you can put on the back require a two inch receiver. Like some of your larger bike racks, um, if you have like an extra, um, you know, like storage area, things like that, some of those uh, will just fit right inside that receiver. Now, if you take a look, top center, you'll also notice this one has a backup camera prep on there. So that way, if you do want backup camera, having that prep, of course, makes it easier to install and is the rear mounted ladders. That way you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. All right, last couple things I wanna hit on are actually right here on the off camp side. One of them is that this unit does come with a black tank flush, making it nice and easy to wash out your black tank. Instead of sticking a hose or a wand down your black tank, you just hook a hose up right here. Black tank has sprayers built in, it'll wash it out for you. Also, you'll see the city water inlets located here, as well as your outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Down below that is where your detachable power cord will plug in. This one is a 50 amp, of course, because you know we had the uh, fireplace in there as well as two ACs. 
Now, if we drop down, the last thing I want to talk about is uh, not only the termination, but more importantly, your valves. If you notice, your valves do go inside that insulated and heated underbelly. So again, we're talking about cold weather camping. Having those insulated valves can definitely be, uh, be a big help. And folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2022 Crossroads Volante 240RL. If you're looking for a smaller half ton towable fifth wheel for just the two of you to be able to get out, have a ton of storage, great amenities, and some options for sleeping guests, then this one right here is probably one you certainly want to consider. If you're interested and you'd like priced availability, all you have to do is click on the link in the description and it will give you the 240 RLs that are nearest to you and give you a price. But that wraps it up, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.